What's up guys, in this video, you are going to learn how to use Google Hangouts on Air to go live on YouTube. I'm Andy, you're watching Learn How. I create videos to help people learn how to use technology to improve their lifestyle. In this video, we're talking about going live on YouTube using Hangouts on Air. Now, Hangouts on Air is my new favorite way to go live on YouTube. If you're going to be doing live videos with other people, so there's other people in your live video, or if you're gonna be switching between your face and like a screen share, so let's say you have like a PowerPoint presentation, a webinar, uh, anything like that, I think Google Hangouts on Air is the way to go. So you don't actually need to go out there and purchase expensive webinar uh, software. Uh, this is a great way if you're a business, if you're an entrepreneur trying to do webinars, live webinars, I'm gonna show you how to do that right now. Okay, so the first thing you're gonna to wanna to do is sign into your YouTube account, and then you're gonna go into your Creator Studio. So now, similar to going live using OBS, which I talk about in another video, you're going to go over here to the left, and you're going to select Live Streaming. Now, it's going to default to this screen for Live Streaming, which is what I talk about and what I teach in my OBS video, but for Hangouts on Air, we're going to click Events over here on the left under Live Streaming. Now, the first thing we're gonna to wanna to do is schedule a new event. The nice thing is you actually don't have to like set a time for later, but you can. So this is a great option if you're trying to do like a live webinar for an online business or something. So let's say um, free online live training, I, just for whatever. And you can put a time. So I, if I didn't want to say today, if it was, let's say, like uh, tomorrow at 6 p.m., I could set the date. Uh, I can change, you know, the description. I can throw up some tags. And I can make it public. I can make it unlisted. I can make it private. Uh, whatever you want. So after I set up my event is what I would do if I were, let's say, doing a webinar. I'll just give you guys a little insider tip. If I were doing a webinar, and I've set up the event, so let's say, let's just do it, just for an example really quick here. So let's say, instead of today, we're gonna do it tomorrow at 5 p.m., great. I'll just click Create Event. Now you can see here, here is our free live online training. Um, so now what I could do is I could open this, this link, and up here at the top of the, like the URL, this link right here is what you would share with people in the registration email. So you would use a service like, let's say you're an entrepreneur, online business, whatever, you wanna do a live webinar. Uh, you're gonna create an event, uh, set it for a date, set it for a time. You're gonna use MailChimp, whatever your you know uh, email service is, and then you're gonna collect emails for registration. So I use lead pages, I got a link below this video if you wanna use lead pages, I think it's the best one, uh, it's the one I prefer. But lead, you could use lead pages, create a little lead box, a, a registration for your webinar. Uh, collect names, collect emails, and then in the uh, welcome email that you'll create for the registration, you'll throw in this link. So just copy this link right here, paste it, and say, you've registered for the webinar, here's the link, we're going live the 31st at 5 p.m., you know? And so that is how I would do a, a webinar if I wanted to uh, use Google Hangouts on air. Now, moving forward, it's all the same thing. So let's go back into the edit, it's all the same thing for webinar or if you just want to go live. Like this doesn't have to be for webinars, but it's a great option. So let's say I want to go live today, right now. So like I'm ready to go live and I just want to, I just want to get to it. Okay, so I've, I've changed all my things. I've changed my title, description. I threw up tags, all that good stuff. Um, and now I'm just going to click go live now. Now ready to go, boom, boom, boom. You'll enter Google Hangout on air. So press OK. And then a window's gonna pop up. Okay, here I am, Google Hangouts on air. Right now, I am off air. You're gonna wanna wait for this little thing at the bottom to load. Can you see this here? It says it's a percent counting up. What, okay, now we got the green button. That means that we're ready to go live if we wanted to. But I would wanna get all my stuff set up. So let's say I'm gonna do a live presentation of me talking, looking at the camera, and a PowerPoint. So I'm gonna flip between, like I wanna talk, I wanna show slides, I've got my PowerPoint ready. Um, is what you would do is you would open PowerPoint at this point and you make sure that your screen share is working properly. So I'd come over here to the left, screen share, choose an application window, 
and I would choose PowerPoint if I was using PowerPoint. So like maybe I have an internet page open. You can share whatever, whatever you want, which is really cool about this. Okay, so this is working. It says at the top I'm screen sharing and when I wanna stop screen sharing, I click stop and then it's gonna go back to me. So same thing, I could talk, talk, talk while I'm talking, go over here to screen share, choose that window, say share again. Okay, look, now we're on the, uh, you know, the computer showing people what to do, da, 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 da. Okay, and I wanna talk some more into the camera. So that's what's really cool about this. It's super easy to do that. Now, making sure everything's working, I'm getting an audio signal, the video looks good. Now it's as simple as clicking start broadcast. Boom, starting broadcast. The Hangout on Air is live. So now I'm live, I'm presenting, I'm talking to people, I'm, I'm clicking screen share while I'm talking, and I'm saying, look guys, go check out, look, this is how you create an event in YouTube, teaching people, maybe I have a PowerPoint presentation, whatever, uh, and then I'm like, okay, I wanna talk again, I press stop, and now I'm talking again, and then I'm like, okay guys, thanks for joining this live broadcast, we'll see you guys later, boom, stop broadcast. Okay, so now we're done there. Another thing, guys, to point out is, you know, if you want to see the comments while people are, are, I mean, sorry, you want to see the comments while you're presenting, just click the little link right here. And you can do this while you're talking. So you can be like over here in Google Hangouts talking. And then you can have a, a little chat over here. It says it's disabled because we're not live anymore. But you can have a little chat box up over while you're talking so you can kind of monitor the chat at the same time. But look, there you go. Uh, there's our little live stream. And then obviously, yeah, it'll be up for replay when you're done. That's how easy it is, guys, to live stream on Google Hangouts on Air. Like I said, it's a great option for webinars because you can schedule it for later. You can already send out the link to people. And then when you're ready to go live on a Friday at six or a Tuesday at two, uh, you just jump onto your event, start the Hangouts on Air, do your presentation, do your webinar, whatever and it works like a charm and it's a free option. It's like free webinars and there's a lot of webinar softwares out there that are really expensive. So this is a great option if you're on a tight budget. If you like this video guys, leave me a comment. Let me know what you think. Hit that thumbs up button. Make sure you're subscribed. We'll see you in the next video.